Welcome to Boomer's Playground, and today we'll be going over coding exercise 57 of the Colt Steel Web Developer Bootcamp on Udemy. So this is another uh, DOM manipulation one. It's going to have us uh, grab all the LIs, and we're going to use JavaScript and the classless property, which I have up here, and we're going to invert them, which just means toggle, and it goes on to say that the next year. So basically iterate over all the li elements and toggle the class of highlight. So here we have remove add toggle contains. I'm not sure what this is. Oh, it looks like we're adding multiple things. All right. So I think contains remove and add are probably all we need. So let's jump into our JS here. And the first thing we got to do is we just have to get um, all the LIs. So Document.query selector all, and we'll do LI. And then again, we'll have three different solutions. Um, the first one will be our for loop. Second one will be our for each, which probably won't pass because Udemy hates for each for some reason. And then loop three will be um, for of. That should work as well. So, all right. So uh, we just need to loop over. So we'll start are counting at zero, we'll do like that length, because again, length gives us the human readable number, which is actually one greater than what the, the furthest index is. And so then from here, we can grab the li by doing lis, which is an array or node type, and then i, which will be the index, which at this point is zero. And what we care about is if this dot class list dot contains and we want to see if it has highlight in it if it does we want to remove that class and if not that means highlight was not on there we want to add that class And so that looks like pretty good. Let's see what the see if the solution is there. Okay, perfect. And that passed. So again, we're just grabbing every li, and then we're just looping over it using our you know I don't want to say old school, but you know our traditional for loop, which is fine. Um, like I said, there's no I don't have anything against them. I just uh, you know, there's just uh, a couple of er areas where you can make mistakes that could break your project. So um, that's why I really like for each, but that's beyond the point. Um, and actually, let's do this. So we had, so we have all this. Let's see. Um, Okay, cool. So we have this. Now we also have this toggle. So this is an interesting one where it's add or remove visible, which visible is a class name. So it's saying toggle it if this is true, but we don't really care. Oh, this might be it. Uh, if visible is set, remove it, otherwise add it. So this is pretty much doing exactly what we're, we're checking for here. But just in one um, in one statement, which is super cool. So here we can just do LIS of the index dot class list dot toggle, and we'll do highlight. And now this will, if if uh, highlight is a class on the element, it will remove it. If it's not, it will add it. And you'll see we still pass the test. So um, that does just make it a little easier, which is kind of nice. So let's do that, and then we can just do um, do li's dot for each, and we got an li. And again, I don't think this one is going to pass the test, even though I'm pretty sure um, it will give us the desired outcome. And yeah, so you'll see that it is the desired outcome. But let's run it. For some reason, the test suite does not care for for each loops. 
And we can obviously see this is supposed to be what it's supposed to be, but whatever. I'm not going to fight with their testing software. And then um, last but not least, we can do the for of, which would be const, or no, before const li of li's. And here we just do li.classlist.toggle. We'll do a highlight, and you'll see we get the same result. I'm not sure if the test will pass, though. OK, and that one does. So yeah, Udemy just hates for reaches. Or if you guys notice, if uh, my syntax is wrong or if I messed something up, let me know. I would love to know why they don't like them. Um, nonetheless, here we are grabbing a node list or array list of things, array type list of things. We are looping over them. We're checking if they have a specific class name. And we're removing or adding if it does or doesn't have that class name. So. Um, here are the three different ways to do it. I hope you guys learned something today. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. Otherwise, like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next exercise.